So next, let's create uh, model classes for our API project. So we have two tables here, departments and employees. So we will create two classes, <coughs> employee and uh, department. So we create this model classes so that it becomes easier for us to work with the API methods. So let's create the models. <coughs> In the models folder, we'll right click and uh, click on add new item so we'll select code and then we'll select class we'll name it as department dot cs okay so we click on add so we have the class here so let's add the attributes so we'll, let's add the same name as in the we have the uh, name in the column tables in the SQL table so we'll say public long uh, department ID we'll have get and set properties <coughs> next we have another column which is a department name so it will be string department name with the same get and set properties okay so similarly let's add employee model class right click add we have here we can directly select from here class we'll name it as uh, employee so employee has employee id and uh, employee name okay then we have department Then we have mail ID. And finally, we have date of joining, which is a date. So we'll have public date time and let's make it nullable date time so that we don't get into much of the issues so we'll have a nullable date time and uh, it's date of joining <coughs> yeah and that's it